Hey guys, Jennifer here. In today's video, I'm making four super fun but easy lunches that are all very different. First up, I'm making a Haunted Mansion themed lunch. Since my kiddos and I just went to see the new Haunted Mansion movie, after that, I'm making a bluey themed lunch. I've been seeing so many back to school items that are bluey themed. So let me know in the comments below if you are a bluey fan. I'm also going to be sharing a delicious breakfast themed lunch, as well as a lunch where everything is mini themed. And not like Minnie the Mouse, but Minnie as in miniature. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below where you are watching from. If this is your first time here, I'm coming to you from Florida, not too far from Disney World. And speaking of Disney World, one of our favorite classic rides is the Haunted Mansion. So when I heard they were coming out with a new movie based on the ride, I couldn't wait to take the kids. Now I do have to say that I can see why this movie is rated PG-13 because there are some scarier moments and some darker themes. But overall, this movie is very true to the ride. And I really love to see all of the Easter eggs that they put in the movie that were taken directly from the ride itself. So if you love the Haunted Mansion ride, you're probably going to love this movie. But for today's lunch, I'm actually going to start by making the sweet treat first because they're going to take a little bit of time to set up. But don't worry, they are really easy. I'm making some no-bake peanut butter ghosts. These are so fun and cute and easy enough for kids to make. All you have to do is take your Nutter Butter cookies and you dip most of it into some melted white chocolate. Next, you just add some mini chocolate chips for the eyes and for the mouth of your ghost. And now I'm just gonna set these in my fridge so that they can harden up. And while that's happening, I'm going to move on to some Haunted Mansion pasta salad. Now I could use either of these Halloween pasta packs, but instead I'm just gonna use this jumbo twisted pasta and I'm going to make it super purple. Whenever I think of the Haunted Mansion, I automatically think of that purple wallpaper. So this really purple pasta is in honor of that. So once my pasta has fully cooked and cooled down, I'm going to add some mozzarella cheese ghosts. Now I just cut these out with a little ghost cookie cutter. And then to our pasta salad, I'm also adding some sliced black olives, some finely chopped purple onion, some bright green edamame, and some carrots. For the dressing, I'm just using plenty of this Olive Garden salad dressing. I love this stuff, and I'm really just eyeballing this. I don't want the pasta salad to be swimming in dressing, but I do want it to have a lot of flavor. So to this, I also added some salt, some pepper, and some garlic powder. And check it out, you guys. I love how this pasta salad turned out. It really does make me think of the Haunted Mansion. And of course, it is super tasty as well. And most importantly, this is delicious. Next, I'm adding two different types of green fruit. And I definitely wanted to get some green color in here because a lot of the cast members who work at the Haunted Mansion have green in their costumes. Next, for the veggie, I'm just adding a few of these purple carrots 
and for a snack on the side, I'm adding in some of these guacamole flavored Tostitos. These are so good, they're a little bit spicy, and of course I love that they are bright green. So now that our little ghost cookies have set up, I can go ahead and add those in as well. And finally, for the drink, I'm just adding in this grape Olipop. Not only is it purple, but it's also my favorite. Okay guys, next up I'm making a bluey themed lunch. This one doesn't require any cooking, it's quick to put together, and it's picky eater approved. For the main course, I'm making a classic PB&J, but my bread is a little bit too small for my bluey cookie cutter. So I'm just gonna roll it out a bit before I cut out the shape. And you guys, I made this cutter with my 3D printer, but you can find similar ones on Amazon or on Etsy. So after the peanut butter layer, I'm going to add some of this blue berry jam. And you guys, I could not resist. I love making these stamped sandwiches. That way I can pretty much make any themed sandwich I want. Next, for the fruit, I'm going to cut out some paw-shaped watermelon. And to go along with that, I'm also adding some paw-shaped cantaloupe. Now you can't have a bluey lunch without blue berries, so I'm also adding those. And you guys, I've heard that bluey's favorite food is fruit salad, so I'm definitely adding a lot of fruit into this lunch. To go along with that, I'm also adding some cucumber slices and some cheese cubes. Next, I'm going to add some Scooby Snacks. Now, I know that these look a lot like dog treats, but they actually taste like cinnamon graham crackers. Oh yes, and I do not want to forget the ranch to dip the cucumbers in. For the sweet treat, I was able to find these bluey themed fruit snacks at Walmart. And you guys, these are so cute. I'm just gonna throw this little bag on the side. And then last but not least for the drink, I'm just adding some water, but I put it in our bluey water bottle. Okay guys, now I'm super excited about this next one because I'm making breakfast for lunch. I'm going to start by adding some of these fully cooked turkey sausages to my air fryer. And once those are done, I'm just gonna cut these into small pieces. Next, you're gonna need one can of regular biscuit dough. And like I said, this is the regular kind, not the flaky layer kind. Oh yes, and I'm just cutting these into three pieces. I'm gonna take two of those pieces and press them into the bottom of each little muffin section, followed by a few chunks of that sausage. 
And then you guys, next comes the eggs. And you really only need six eggs for one recipe, but I ended up doubling this recipe because I wanted to have some of these to keep in my freezer for later. And that's a really great thing about these sausage breakfast biscuits. You really could use these to meal prep. You just make some extra, keep them in the freezer, and then reheat them in the microwave whenever you need some. My kids are going back to school really soon, so I'm hoping to meal prep lots of breakfast items just like these. Now lastly, I just topped each of these with some cheddar cheese, and then these go in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. And you guys, when they're done, they should look something like this. I basically have a sausage egg and cheese biscuit in a muffin form. Now these ones have completely cooled down so I can add them into our lunchbox. Next, for the fruit, I'm adding in an orange and some strawberries. And for the veggie, I have just enough space to add some celery on either side of our breakfast muffins. Now keeping with the breakfast theme, I wanted to add some kind of yogurt and I was able to find these drinkable ones at Target. You guys, these are so cute because each little bottle has a little Pixar character on the outside. I was able to find a Mike Wazowski and a Sully from Monsters. I found the Toy Story gang, some of the Incredibles. I also found Miguel from Coco and Doug from Up. And I am most excited to find Nemo and Dory from Finding Nemo. And you guys, I don't know what it is about Pixar movies in general, but I swear every single one has made me cry at some point. Next, for a little salty sweet snack, I'm going to add some of these caramel rice cakes. And then for the drink, I'm adding a little box of this Honest Kids apple juice. Okay guys, now that brings me to our mini themed lunch. But like I said, not mini like the mouse, I mean mini as in small. For this lunch, I'm starting with the sweet treat first. I'm just mixing up some classic chocolate chip cookie dough. But you guys, this is really stiff because my butter wasn't quite room temperature like it was supposed to be. One eternity later. Now to this cookie dough, I'm also adding a tube of mini M&Ms. And to balance out all the sweet, I'm also throwing in a little peanut butter powder. Now personally, I love all things peanut butter, but if I didn't have the powdered peanut butter, I'd probably just add in some of the regular stuff. Now when it comes to scooping out the dough, I'm definitely gonna use my mini sized scooper. But to make these even smaller, I'm actually gonna cut this into four. That way we're gonna be left with mini bite-sized cookies. Now once I have all of the cookies on my pan and they're nice and rolled out, I'm gonna stick them in the oven. Now while those are baking, I'm gonna move on to the main course, which is kind of like a mini quesadilla. Instead of using a regular sized tortilla, of course I'm going with a mini version. And to these, I'm going to start by spreading on just a little bit of beans. Next, I'm adding a generous amount of cheese. And for some extra flavor, I'm just adding a little bit of salsa. Now, my kids do like a little bit of spice, but not too much. Also, I know from experience that if I add too much salsa, it's just gonna leak out into the lunchbox and make everything soggy.
Now to go with our mini quesadillas, I have a mini sour cream and a mini guacamole for dipping. The dips are going on one side and our mini quesadillas on the other. Next, for the fruit, instead of adding regular melon balls, I'm gonna scoop out a bunch of mini melon balls. Now I know this looks like a lot of extra work, cutting out all the fruit and the veggies in this entire video, but you guys, I used to work at Edible Arrangements, so cutting out fruit shapes is not a lot of work to me. Now after those mini melon balls, I'm gonna cut up some mini cucumbers. I'll add those in, and then instead of regular carrots, I'm adding some mini baby carrots. On the side, I'm adding some of these mini bite-sized tortilla chips. These ones are cheesy flavored. And now that they are freshly baked and fully cooled down, I can finally add our mini M&M and peanut butter cookies. And you guys, I just love how these turned out. They are so little and cute, and I love all the colorful M&Ms on top. Now, I do want to remember the ranch to go with all the veggies. And then last but not least for the drink, I'm just adding in a mini can of strawberry lemonade. Now friends, I had so much fun making all of these lunches and sharing them with you. I would love to know in the comments down below which one of these lunches was your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in next week's video.